I think we came here, it was all bushes. So if we came here, we joined hands and prayed for the spirits and the same God. We want to have a school here for the children. Because if you want to change something, if you want to do something, you have to do it with the kids. That's how you can change the society. So we came here and we joined hands and we prayed and we said, God, we need a school here. So two years, 24 months later, now we have a school. I grew up here uh, in this village. I used to walk like uh, 10 to 14 kilometers to go to school every morning. So I remember going in my feet, without shoes, and it was very tough. So when I grew up, I was like, I don't want other children to go through what I've gone through. But I thought of how I've been in the school to help my community to make sure that uh, they don't travel along this passage. I was, um, wanted to do this, but I don't know how to start. But I got an opportunity. Um, one of the missionaries came and after my parents died, they gave me an opportunity to go to school. So they paid my fees up to the university. So I came up with a plan, with an idea that if we do tours uh, and safaris for people in uh, America, Canada and other countries to come, we can actually use that to earn money and also to be able to pay to do the school. So the idea was, if somebody comes to our tours, uh, part of the money he pays goes to the school. Uh, the issue is we wanted to make sure each kid in the school at least gets a sponsor, maybe $25 a month. So that money, if come to, uh, together, if we collect from different sponsors, it is able to pay teachers and to take care of the school expenses. This school is almost free. People pay like three dollars, two dollars, and it is hard for them to, to even to afford because this village is one of the poorest villages in Uganda. People live under one dollar a day. So they do subsistence. They do subsistence farming. So it's really very very hard. So we cannot operate a school on what they contribute. We need an extra help, an extra help. Some other schools and organizations start and then stop because they can't be funded. With that in mind, that's why we came up with a sponsorship. Because I want to see the school to be able to not stop. Because the teacher is running out because they can't be paid. Or kids not having porridge or something to eat at school. So, and then the safari also will help. So many people will come on our safaris and then they would like to come here and see what we do. So, uh, Omutu Uganda is um, an organization that is very committed for helping children because I have learned that if I was not given an opportunity as a child after I lost my parents when I was 14 to go to school by an American family in California, it would have been so hard. Maybe I would have been with like any other kids in this village. No one would know my potential, no one would know what I could do. So it all starts by giving them a chance. And the chance we can give them is to come to school, is to get an education, and also to learn about God. Because in our school, it's not about only academics, but also the spiritual life is also emphasized to make sure that these kids grow. Um, brought up balanced academics and their spiritual life. Since we have a long term plan and a short term plan, the short term plan that we have is to finish. We have a temporary structure here. We have many kids. We need a wall, we need a kitchen for the kids. We need a toilet in the kitchen. So th that's our short term plan. Hoping that we are going to have a secondary school and a technical school. The technical school basically is to help these kids, some of them who can make it to the university, to have a skill, let's say uh, plumbing, let's say welding, uh, let's say tailoring, things that they can do with their hands to earn money to be able to stand on their feet. Uh, I want to appeal to anyone who can afford 
who has the ability to give someone an opportunity, and especially the kids. You never know who they are going to be in the future. Yes, that's why Jesus said, leave, leave the children to come to me, because there is their kingdom. So the change that we need in Africa and Uganda is going to start with the children. That's what I mean.